today's episode, I'm going to navigate how we can have curiosity and at the same time have boundaries. Welcome to the Holistic Life Navigation Podcast. I am your host, Luis Mujica. I was sick and depressed until I discovered that I could make music, and then my whole life transformed because I began learning how to listen more deeply, listen to life, to the people around me, and to my body. And that's when I realized that the body speaks through sensations, and learning this new language meant relearning my body and mind. I soon healed myself of many chronic conditions and then began teaching others how to do so as well. Holistic life navigation combines nutrition, self-inquiry, and somatic experiencing to help you release stress and trauma just by listening to your own body. This podcast serves as a place to share my experiences as well as the experiences of many others who have healed and are healing through unique, unorthodox, and unusual ways. Your time to learn begins now. First, we want to sit with the idea of how to turn judgment into curiosity to heal trauma. Because curiosity is this incredible physiology of openness, and the traumatized system requires some expansion to release that charge. Judgment is a fixed state. When we meet something or someone with judgment, we decide who or what they are. This isn't being in relationship, it's being in dominance. My judgment of who or what you are will dominate your actual truth. Your true unique nature cannot survive under the heaviness of my judgment of you. However, my curiosity asks the question, who are you? Not that I even believe in whose, but more specifically, tell me how you see yourself, what you believe, what you've been through. Tell me your name. Tell me how you love. Tell me what caused you to believe what you believe. This is curiosity, and this invites me into a relationship with you. The you can even be me. How do I dominate myself in my own mind through judgments? The process of moving from judgment into curiosity is so ridiculously simple that it's easy to miss. We just add a question mark. That's it. Watch and listen to me and try it. My body is ugly. Notice how that feels. My body is ugly? Notice how that feels. I don't like you. Notice how that feels. I don't like you? Notice how that feels. When I fix a concept with a period, with a knowing, there's some tension in my body. When I transform a concept with a question mark, I feel an openness in my body. My body tells me I'm moving from judgment when I'm constricted. That's my barometer. This is useful if I'm hiking and I have to assess if I'm coming up to a cliff, judgment that is. The constriction holds me back from falling off that cliff. Traumatized nervous systems and brains exist from judgment because they're always trying to organize everything into safe or unsafe so we can survive. Traumatized systems believe threat is everywhere, so our bodies live from constriction and judgment. Adding the question mark invites some capacity. Maybe I don't know. How does that feel not to know? It can be scary because not knowing is open and vulnerable. And a traumatized nervous system associates openness and vulnerability with threat. That's what we call an overcoupling as well. Openness equals threat. And what's important about that is uh, an overcoupling means that the body believes it's a guaranteed response. So for me to open or be curious equals letting down my guard, which equals getting hurt, 100% guaranteed. What I'm inviting here is questioning the guarantee. I could get hurt. I could not get hurt. Can I hold both until I have better understanding or experience of the reality of that? What's also important here as we're thinking about this and hearing me talk about this is this is not um, a tool to bypass a situation right? So someone had written in a question and they said, 
I have applied this concept to my life for a long time. However, it did lead me down the road to be a victim of abuse in a relationship because I never wanted to label the person as abusive or a narcissist or whatever it is. Luis, can you speak on the balance of having healthy boundaries and also leaving space for people to expand, change, and grow? This question is what really um, prompted me to record this little session with you all, this episode, because I think it's such a great question. Just like we overcouple being open with threat, we also overcouple being curious and not judging people with having to be victims of their behavior. So I want to bring in some language from nonviolent communication, which I've always loved this particular distinction between a judgment and an observation. If we bring this through the somatic lens, observation is also noticing the sensations in my body and letting them show me what I need. I've always seen boundaries as expression of our needs. How do we know our needs? through embodiment, through letting my body tell me, just like when I go to drink water, that's a boundary. My body says, I need water, I can't go any longer. I grab the water, I drink it, a need was met. Same experience, if I'm around someone who's really overwhelming my body, I don't have to think about it. I don't have to decide who they are. I don't have to decide who I am. I notice the sensation, and the sensation wants my body to say, I need to be alone now or walk away, or put on headphones. So boundaries are really expressions from needs that we get in touch with as we have somatic awareness of sensations. Now judgment, what's interesting about judgment for me, and some people that I've worked with, is judgment takes us from our felt sense. If I'm hanging out, let's say I'm in a relationship with someone, like I'll I'll use this example the person wrote in, And I'm thinking of a couple people in particular who I've known over the years. I'm in a relationship with someone who's abusive, let's say verbally abusive, okay? And um, I am staying with them because in my judgment, they're crazy and they need help. How could I ever leave someone who needs help? How could I even take it personally when someone's crazy? That should mean I need to stay and work this out. If we go into the body, and when I went into the bodies with these people, what's amazing is the body saying, leave, move, walk away, tell somebody, say no. The body's saying all those things. Now, depending on our situation, sometimes we have to bypass that. If our actual lives are being threatened, then there's a really sophisticated reason why we would bypass the body saying go away or tell somebody or stand up for yourself, right? And that's a whole different experience that I'm going to honor right now, but not get into because I want to stay with this piece here. My judgment of a person means I have to stop feeling my body's needs. I don't respond to those needs, but I freeze and I go into my mind to figure it out. Judgment is about trying to figure it out putting an identity on something, fixing something. And I don't mean fixing like broken, but fixing like making it stagnant or still or static. Hey, my friends, I want to take a break from the episode to remind you that my next six week course begins on Monday, May 2nd. Registration for this course opens on April 5th. That same day, I'll be hosting a live webinar with replays that explains how the course works, shows you what it looks like, and answers any of your questions live. Any of you that really want to get into this course, go to my website right now, holisticlifenavigation.com, and click on the course at the top, and then click join waitlist. This guarantees you a spot because you'll receive an email one week before registration opens, inviting you to early register. So then you get in before it sells out. This course is my favorite thing right now because we're joined by a global group of people first of all who are coming together around the same piece wanting to release their stress and trauma through listening to their body so a bunch of body listeners get to sit together live for six weeks and through the six weeks you have ongoing support with a private 
online community space we've created, and from me and my team to answer your questions, help you with any technical issues, and emotionally guide and support you throughout the six weeks. For more information on the course, visit holisticlifenavigation.com. Now let's get back to the episode. This person that wrote in who said, how can we have healthy boundaries and leave space for people to expand? That's the part I love the most here. So if my boundary is coming from my needs, which comes from my felt sense, and my boundary is saying, I don't like the way it feels in my body when this person talks to me like that. That's my observation, right? Not a judgment, but an observation. That observation and the curiosity of what does my body want? What does that mean? What's next? Is an open physiology. I'm not creating adrenaline. I'm not dissociating. I'm not shutting down or immobilizing. Immobilizing is another word for freeze. When we go into judgment, when we go into trying to understand the other person, like try to put an identity onto them, or try to understand what I should do in the mind, I'm moving into a place of judgment which freezes me. Especially those of us with trauma and stored trauma charge, any additional charge or activation just builds up in the body because it's already so overwhelmed with charge. And that buildup looks like trauma response, which in many cases for many of us is a freeze response or a fawn, which is a hybrid really of freeze and fawn, two things. So when that's happening, I don't have the clarity. I can't feel my body. All I feel is threat and I'm in a shutdown survival state. Or I might be in a fight or flight state. I might be physically aggressive or mentally aggressive. I might be flighting, I might be running away from everyone or isolating. What happens when I'm curious in the same situation? Oh, okay, I'm not going to go into them and what, what's wrong with them. I'm just noticing when they say that to me, it feels bad in my stomach. My stomach says, stay with me, let's move to the other room. And when I move away from this person, oh, I start to feel a relief. There is an observation there that shows me when I am not around this person, I feel open, I feel secure, I feel healthy. That's my reality somatically. That's my natural state without identity or judgment. I don't have to see them as a narcissist or abusive. If anything, the people I've worked with who are so empathic stay with abusive narcissist types because the identity helps them see, well, this poor person is mentally ill. We can get better. I can help them heal. All they need is therapy. I'm not saying that isn't true. And it's a way to bypass the present experience in your body, which might be saying, I'm actually done with this relationship. That's not a judgment. It's an observation. Curiosity is the opposite of that adrenalized, activated judgment state. It's always saying, I don't know what it is. What does it feel like? What's next? Oh, it feels good to move into this room and close the door. What if I walked outside? Oh, that feels really good. What if I moved out? Whoa, that feels amazing. Right? We're following the question of what's next? What's next? And I find it so important with trauma work because our nervous systems and our minds are working really hard to organize things into safe and unsafe all the time. And when we're walking around with stored trauma, the body believes it's unsafe. So it's already seeing things as threat, even when they aren't. Discomfort, frustration, being offended, not liking someone, being irritated, can very quickly turn into a felt sense of threat because of how activation works in a traumatized system. And whenever we're experiencing threat or perceiving threat, we lose our ability to consider to think clearly, and to even move clearly. We get propelled into a trauma response, fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. Curiosity is a connection to self. What's inside of me? Or curiosity is an openness to what is. 
wow, who are they? Why do they want to talk to me that way? How would it feel for them if I left? How would it feel for me if I left? It's a questioning to open us instead of an I fixed identity with a period at the end of it to say this is what it is, and then we're stuck in it. Someone else had written in response to what the question someone asked was, and I thought it was so great. And they said, I keep finding myself judging my well-intentioned roommate, but also knowing it's making me unhappy to do that. We are friends too, and our kids call me auntie. I recognize that I'm probably playing out the living with my family isn't safe trauma from childhood tape. Maybe just for today, I will try you make the house gross instead of you make the house gross. Maybe we will actually address the boundary issues if I open up instead of going into complete shutdown and holding up in my area and day dreaming about how to get away from this family. This person's response is the exact example of what I'm trying to express here. By going into the mind and judging, we go into a cycle of adrenaline and the lineage of things that we've experienced wake up in us. The traumas, the overwhelms, the, the oppression, anything we've experienced doesn't mean it's not happening now. But imagine if it was happening now without everything also, also being called back in. Imagine the capacity we would have to handle it now. When we have the curiosity and something can open in us, we do have the ability to address things, to express things, and to move. So I thank you all for listening. It's a great thing to sit with, see where it moves in you, see where it shifts in you, see where you vehemently disagree with me, see where you connect with me. Today is April 25th. In 24 hours, registration closes for my six-week course. So if you want to be a part of the course, I suggest right now going to holisticlifenavigation.com and signing up. And if you get this after registration closes, you can go to the same website, holisticlifenavigation.com, and you can get on the wait list for the summer course. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. My question for you is, where do you feel the episode? Take a breath and just notice, what's your body doing right now? Sit with it, let it speak to you, and let whatever comes up, come up. And your only job is to listen, for all the wisdom you need is right inside of you. To learn more about my work, you can visit holisticlifenavigation.com and sign up for my mailing list. You'll receive a weekly newsletter with specific monthly topics, free resources, and upcoming events. You can also follow me on Instagram. If you like my podcast, please leave a review and share. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you